Hi everybody, here with Charlie and Megan from uh, Art of Domes. We're out here in Crystal Waters and um, let's uh, have a bit of a tour around the place. So um, we start with this. Yeah, great. <laughs> yeah, great. Uh, yeah, this is the blocks we make um, to make the domes behind us. This is the air crate. That's the air, 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 aerated concrete that goes through. And um, let's go and actually have a look at the final product. This is pretty cool. You won't have seen these before. Welcome to one of our domes. This is the first one we built. Um, we've utilised recycled doors, op shop plates, op shop plates. Um, you know, they cost 50 cents each. If you'd like to step inside. It does get a bit echoey in here because it's empty at the moment. Uh, with a few soft furnishings in here, you lose that echo. Okay, so this is a 3.5 metre dome in that the diameter is 3.5 metres. That brings it in just under the 10 square metres uh, that the council require to be a shed size. We've utilised some upcycled casement windows in here um, and we put in a wooden floor just to give it a bit more of a homey feel. Wooden bench over there, yep. It's all the air creep, the um, 50 cent plates from the op shop, there's windows. A little overhang to keep the door dry. See my groovy skylight up there, <laughs> made with more bowls from the op shop. <clears throat> We've still got to apply a waterproofing layer. Uh, that's why nothing's clean like the windows and things. Yeah, so these were all the offcuts when we're shaping the, the blocks. You know, we, we need to cut corners off them or whatever, shape them to fit in. And we were just dumping them as landfill, but now we're breaking all this up and putting it back into our next lot of blocks that we make. Hello. <laughs> We're just relaxing. <laughs> We've just put this nice bench seat in. Uh, we've got this beautiful view out here. Um, look, there's even some kangaroos down there now. Uh, yeah, so this this a little seating nook. Um, and in the next dome, we've extended this idea. We've extended this out further and we've, we've moulded a bed base in, which is going to fit a queen-size mattress. So it will basically just be a, a sleeping nook rather than a bedroom. This dome's a lot higher than the other one. It's the same floor size, uh, three and a half metre slab, but then we put the bigger radius, bigger radius dome on it, which 
created a high ceiling. <laughs> it's a little bit hard to get your head around, but yeah, it sort of created like an egg shape. So we've got an air vent in the top and I've got an air vent down here. Uh, that's just a little solar fan up the top there. And then, yeah, so we've got the two uh, living spaces and then out here we've got an, an outdoor kitchen, which will have a roof on it eventually. Uh, it's still the dome shape. We've got a big countertop here with a sink and over here we're gonna have some, some wooden benches and then we'll build a roof over the top. How's this for a view from the kitchen sink? Look, thank you so much for showing us through what an incredible project you've got going on. This is just, yeah, absolutely mind blowing. And, you know, everybody, you should come and see this. This is really, really cool. Check out the workshops, check it all out. And, um, Art of Dome, Charlie, Megan, thank you guys so much. Cheers. Thanks thank a lot. You. Thank you. <laughs>